Hi, hello, good morning children. I am Vijay Lakshmi from Tiny Tarts Group of Schools. I am teaching social studies for first class students. I am revising the syllabus. Already we completed 10 lessons. Now we are in lesson number 7. I am going to revise lesson number 7. School is fun. School is fun. Ma, from LKG onwards you are going to school. You know something, something about the school. Now I explain what is school, what is uniform and who are the people in the school, who is the main authority of the school, what are the rooms in school, I explain about that. Now meaning, what is the meaning of school, meaning of school, meaning see school is a place where, school is a place where children study and learn. Children study and learn about many things. School is a place where children study and learn. Chadu daru net chunta. Chala chala vishar gunji. Chadu daru net chunta. Children go to school are called students. Children go to school are called students. See, students are the children. Students are the children who go to school. Students are the children. Who go to school? These people are not children. Okay. They wear special dress to go to school. They wear special dress to go to school. That is called uniform. That is called uniform. Children are of you open your homework notebook and write it. See, school is a place where children go, study and learn about many things. Next one. The children who are going to school are called students and the special dress worn by the students to go to school is called uniform. <laughs> Along with the uniform, students take lunch box, they carry books, school bag, pencils, erasers, pens, lunch box, water bottle etc. etc. Okay. <coughs> with these things, they, they stay in the school comfortably. Okay? This is about school. This is about school. Children, look at the picture. This is, this is the picture of school. Ma, is our school also like that? Yes. Our school also story building like that and it has uh, three, four, three, four stages. We are going on the steps and uh, in the, in the ground, in the ground we are, we are having computer room, office room and assembly hall like that. Now, I explain who are the people in the school. Who are the people? Who is the main authority of the school? Principal is the main authority of the school. Principal is the main authority of the school. He looks after the matters and administration of the school. School is the main authority of the school. Teacher is the main class of the timetable but here we have to stress that even the managers, teachers, 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 the principal under. Who is he? He looks after all the activity of activities of the school. Okay. And who is our principal? Order of Miss is our principal. So this is about the head of the school. Who is the head of the school? Principal is the head of the school. Ma, did you write in your notebook? Principal is the head of the school. Principal is the head of the school. Head of the school. Okay. Now I will explain. Next I will explain what are the places in the school. What are the rooms in the school. Okay. See. There are four five types of rooms in the school. What are they? First one classroom. First one classroom. Classroom is a place where the students study and learn things. Where the student study and learn things. It has both tables, chalk piece, duster and benches. See, this is the classroom. This is the classroom. Teacher, teacher teaches the subject and students, students sit in their places, in their benches and they listen, they listen to the teacher, teacher's lessons and they read and write. They read and write. Next one, assembly hall. Next one, what is the next one? Assembly hall. Assembly hall. Assembly hall is a place where functions, where functions and prayers are held. My every day you are coming to school. This year you are not coming, but before last year, up to before last year, you are coming to school. And uh, 
where are you making prayers pledge vande matram janagana mana where are you making pledges and prayers in the assembly hall only and the mass gatherings like and functions are held in deepavali dasara like the functions are held in held in assembly hall next one third one staff room third one what is the third one staff room okay staff room is a place where teachers sit and write and practice and prepare their lessons this is the staff room is the teachers room only not students room okay next one playground next one what is the next one playground what is the next one playground playground is a place playground is a place where students play and march fast and they play various games like cricket the basketball running jumping and swinging seesaw swing there are different types of uh, swing seesaw swing there okay next one library what is the fifth one library library is a place where so many books are held and teachers and students can go there and read next one canteen sixth one canteen sixth one what is the sixth one canteen canteen is a place where refreshments with where refreshments are there refreshments means chocolates cakes biscuits and what about in such like that if the students are 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 interested to buy the snacks they can buy there and eat them that is called candy that is called candy see look at this this is staff room this is staff room staff room is a place where teachers sit and plan their lessons this is a playground a playground is a place where students play various games the different types of games and march fast also this is the library where the books are kept and teachers and students can go and practice them this is the canteen we can teachers and the students can buy refreshments refreshments means snacks okay children and next one this is medical room this is the seventh one is called medical room medical room is a place where when the students are sick they, they can go to medical room and they can take the take the service of a doctor service of a doctor okay these are the main rooms in the school what is the first one classroom where the teachers and students stay teachers teach the lessons and students study and learn the lessons second one assembly hall where functions and prayers are held next one staff room where the teachers practice their lessons plan their lessons next one playground where the students play different types of games next one library where the students and teachers can read the different types of books next the canteen where can the students buy snacks next the medical room when they are not feeling well when they are sick they can go to medical room and they can take the service of a doctor this is about the rooms of the school how do we keep our classroom clean how do we keep our classroom we should keep our classroom clean we should keep our classroom clean and we should not throw waste papers and bits of food on the floor we should keep in dustbin only we should keep in dustbin only like this we should always keep dust in the dustbin only we should go in line we should not damage school property school property what are the school properties benches tables windows doors steps like that so we the school is our second home so we should keep our school clean and neat and safe we okay this is about school this is about school today you take your home notebook and what you have listened in the lesson write four sentences about that what is the name of our school who is the director of our school like that okay children bye